Hello everyone, I hope you can hear me well. So sorry for the trouble, you know, on the live meeting. So uh, we faced a problem, I cannot see you and you cannot see me. So like, you know, we decided to uh, the shift our platform to the link. So what I will do is I will record this session and then uh, share on my blog. So you can follow it from there, sorry for the pr trouble. So uh, today is really interesting topic and I'll also are the fourth uh, session like the system contracts so especially like the share search uh, for example the system settings you know these kind of features can be easily implemented in your application your existing application so what we will do is you know uh, we built an application like in three weeks uh, so we will continue on like the building uh, these kind of features onto our application. So uh, the first of all, you know, we will have a look at these kind of features, how they work and how can we implement into our application. Again, like our like the 200 samples, we will go there and we will check the details and we will in, uh, we will implement into our application. So if you have any question, please just let me know like the, through the link. So uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And like, you know, if you have any further info, any further uh, question or something like that, like, please just let me know. And, you know, uh, I will be really happy to like the answer, like the, those questions, like the through email, via email, like the through the Twitter, just let me know. So. Uh, here's my like contact address, like my Twitter address, like my blog post, and you all know about it. So like, if you wanted to access like the previous recording videos, please go to, uh, please go to this site. The, this is my blog uh, blog address, and you can access like the all recorded videos, all recorded sessions there. So other than that, like you know, we have a roadmap like Windows 8 roadmap, like if you wanted to develop an application by yourself, you know, uh, I explain step, step by step there. So like, you know, you can go there and you can check the details. So the basic thing again, like I just wanted to share the agenda, like, you know, you can go through uh, ak.ms slash Windows 8 online sessions and you can go to uh, my session, uh, my other sessions and you can check uh, like upcoming events. Like the all sessions will be on XAML and C Sharp again, and like if you have any question, like don't hesitate to ask me. So I would be really happy to answer that. So here is a link for that. So uh, right now we can start. Like the basically, uh, you know, Windows 8.1 has been uh, released. Like you know, the last week it was really really exciting time for us. So because you know this is a new update and new free update. So you can easily go there and you can easily get it. So, um, and also like at the same time, so there are lots of improvements, like around, around 800 uh, topics, like the different topics has been updated, has been added. So this is a really significant, uh, like, you know, changes on our platform, on our, like the ecosystem. So one of, one of them is like the search, like the search has a new functionality. So what will we do is like the basic that I just wanted to cover like Windows 8 development at the same time, Windows 8.1, but our main focus will be Windows 8.1. So, uh, basically I will share the, uh, share the, some topics with you. Uh, so for example, you know, if there's a change, I will let you know what, what, what are the key changes. So, Let's move on. Like, you know, if you have a look at that the search thing, like, you know, uh, like if you move, like if you are using your uh, like mouse and keyboard, like if you move top and like to uh, move down, like your mouse and, you know, you will be able to see the charms. Like we call like Windows charms, like through the Windows charms, you can easily access like the all universal, like the commons, like the search, share, like settings or these kind of stuff. So for example, like if I click search, like, you know, I can open like the search bar there. Like at the same time, if you go back to like, you know, uh, main screen, like, you know, desktop, if you press Windows button and Q at the same time, like it opens the same thing as well. So this is just a shortcut and very useful. I'm using it a lot. So if you are using a touch screen, like from the right side, like, you know, if you swipe from the right, like you can uh, see my uh, finger point there. So like, you know, you can open like the charms and also like when you tap on the search, like, you know, you can open the search. So the basic, you know, this is just a unified uh, 
unified search experience on our platform right now, Windows 8.1, it's powered by Bing. So for example, if you are looking for a city, like for example, Istanbul is my uh, hometown right now, so where I live, so I can, you know, get more details about like Istanbul, like with one search. So for example, if you go to like uh, on your desktop site, like, you know, you can see here, like you have files uh, which includes like Istanbul inside of that. Same thing with like with your music, like with the music title. Same thing with your SkyDrive images. At the same time, like, you know, uh, it is showing on the map because it is recognizing that it is a city and then, you know, it is just showing related information. For example, the weather, for example, population, like the area, like, you know, view on the map, like, you know, get more information, like, which is really nice. At the same time, it is just showing, like, you know, attractions, like, at the same time, like, web results, at the same time, you know, uh, the loss of stuff like that. So this is just a good thing. And then, you know, whenever you have a look at that, so this is just one experience and all of them are unified in, in, in a one place. The good thing is, for example, in here, like you can see the latest, uh, the screenshots of the websites, like the actual webs actual screenshots of the websites, which is really cool. So like if you have a look at that by yourself, you know, you will really like it. So what we will do is, how can we like implement some features into our application? Because you know, this was a main source in Windows 8 applications. Like if you wanted to like search anything in an application, for example, uh, like you know, we have a translator from the Turkish to English. So uh, one of our really uh, nice developer developed that application. So for example, you know, this has a feature of like the searching inside of the application. Like if you go to search inside of the app, like it is just showing that this is selected. And with, with here, like, you know, you can search anything. For example, like if you search for like the history, like it is just sending the, like the query to here. And then, you know, you can get a like the result of it. So which, which is really nice and really easy to way to like, you know, uh, search these kind of things. And like, you know, it was a list in Windows 8, like in here, like you could pick any application and you could search there. So right now we have like search in everywhere, like, you know, what we did in the first time. Same thing with like, you know, you can search in only settings or in in only in your files or your like you know, web images or web videos. Like, you know, there are really cool uh, ways to do that. So let's go back. You know, this is just one experience and then, you know, you can do that. Like, for example, in here, so you will see that, like, you know, you are just picking whatever you want to search. So here are the suggestions on your desktop. And at the same time, like, here are the, some uh, other suggestions on the web. Like, you know, these might be related with your search or what you're really looking for. So moving forward. So, you know, like I just, you know, uh, the showed you like the search experience in here, but in Windows 8, like, you know, uh, like Windows 8.1, like something has been changed. So if we have a look at that, what is new? Like, you know, we have like the you know, new smart search, what I showed you in here, like, like the Istanbul at the same time, for example, if you are looking for uh, some artist, for example, for example, Marlene Monroe, like, you know, if you have a look at this one, like, you know, you will get a related search uh, regarding the Marlene Monroe, like, you know, uh, regarding her, like the movies or like, you know, uh, like other things like the pictures, you know, as you see, like, you know, it is more related with like a person, for example, where she, when she was born, when she was died, like, you know, you can see in here. So if you move forward, like again, the same experience. So like, you know, this is just a unified thing and then you can search in a smart way, for example, uh, like you can search for your uh, friends, for example. So f for example, like, you know, I can search myself. And so you can see in here. So like regarding my thing, like, you know, I can see my details, like other stuff, like, you know, it is more related with my, like the Twitter account and Facebook account. And, you know, you can see like the, all the details there. So uh, like, this is just another improvement. Another one with Windows 8.1, uh, it's coming with Windows 8.1, a new search box. Like search box is a new feature of Windows 8.1. Like it is here right now. So let me show you. 
like it is here so whenever you want to search anything like in real time like you know you can see in here for example my hometown is Konya like in a different city of Turkey so whenever you search it like you know you can see in here like all the details like if you wanted to go back to for example Istanbul again like you know you can see in here so like this is just one unified place again like in an application like in all Bing Maps application like you can see it see it for example like in finance so if you're looking for Microsoft account like the MSFD like you know you can see like you know some suggestions like if you like search that thing you know you can see the history so this is just another uh, how can I say it like you unified uh, the experience in the application so uh, like the, these are like the changes so what will we do is like you know we will try to like to implement these kind of features in our application and then you know we will see step by step like to sum up like you know we have a new uh, smart search like you know which is like whenever you search anything like it is just delivering you like relevant uh, results like same thing with like a person like the famous person or same thing with your uh, like favorite city or some somewhere else like at the same time we have a search box right now so like if you are really looking for integrating these kind of feature into your application so that will be the search box so uh, and also there are some features like you know whenever you go to application like just type anywhere else like you can just uh, forward them to like you know uh, uh, to search box so what will we do is so right now like I will go to my project like you know where we left and I will start it and then you know we'll, we'll see that you know uh, how we will work it like you know till so far you know I shared all resources like the old materials on my blog like on the videos like you know you can go to that SkyDrive folder and you know you can get the uh, latest application where we left like you know end of these session series like you know we will have a really nice uh, you know the nice looking application with the all nearly all features of Windows 8.1 so I will run this application like if you remember like we integrate the splash screen like you know we displayed all pictures like the all photos in the app like at the same time whenever you click anything like you are just going to like you know the details at the same time it is just showing as a toast notification and if you go back to uh, your application like you know you will see that like there is a live tile as well so like you know you can see that like there's a toast notification and also live tile so you know this is really nice thing like you know we have seen how can we do that at the same time we have seen that like there is a badge like how can we update the badge and like you know the all other features as well so what we are really looking for is right now like we will integrate the search inside of this app uh, this application and then you know try to filter filter the results and you know uh, try to show up uh, like the this data on on the like on the start screen or in a new page so you know we will discuss about like the, this search experience and you know this is up to your uh, the scenario so what I will do is so basically you know I have a main page in here so in main page like you know I have a like you know my like grid view and what I will do is like I will put a search box on the top of that so but before that like you know uh, I just wanted to go to like the 200 samples and we'll have a look at uh, like the how we can integrate these kind of features in our applications and like the, what are the really cool features like what are the cool uh, like you know abilities we can add into our application so uh, the basically it is here so like you know I have uh, five sample application in our like the 200 sample applications uh, for our contracts so uh, the first of all I will go to like the search contract sample then after that search box control sample like you know you can also implement like you know search box experience what I showed you in translator application like you know you can easily implement uh, like the those kind of features into your application as well so what I will do is I will run this application 
So this is just you know the scenario based like as you remember like with the same with the all other SDK samples. So for example you know like using the contracts how you can use it or like you know uh, what you can do is for example you know if you go to search contract like you know you will see uh, like the wherever you want to search like as you see there is a search contract sample like with a C sharp. So like when you whenever you have a look at this one like you know you will just search inside of this application. So if you will go back like uh, to the second scenario, like you know application defined list. So for example, you know it is just saying that like you know type a city name, like for example San Bernardino. Like you know let me go to uh, search with the Windows Q button. So what I will do is like I will search for San Bernardino. Bernardino. So like as you see, like you know whenever I search anything, like if I type like send like I will see like you know some suggestions like you know you can implement into your application these kind of suggestions easily like you know you can see how you can do it like in this sample same thing for like the different languages like you know it's not recognized in here but Japanese letters so at the same time like the third scenario like if you go to like you know uh, search you can also search in your music library for example you know I'm a big fan of like a Turkish band like the Duman like you know whenever I search it like you know I can see like the Duman and also same thing with the cargo like you know this is also a Turkish band like you know I can see like the some uh, like you know suggestions in my music list so this is really cool so you know these are just you know the features like I just wanted to show you like that these are the abilities what you can easily implement into your application like if you have a, like the JSON library or like the uh, like the WCF backend like you know you can easily give the format to here and you can like you know use that suggestions in your application same thing with the same XML and like the same thing with the like you know the, these kind of stuff so this is really good thing so uh, other than that so we have a search box experience. So for the search box experience, like if you will go to like this sample, I will go there. So I will run this application. Like, you know, this will be really like easy steps, like, you know, just deciding what you want to, to implement into your application and then using that component inside of there. So, for example, in here, like, you know, uh, the same thing in here, San Bernardino, like, you know, whenever you see that, like the same experience what you had, uh, like, in the search charm, like, same thing with, like, you know, Japanese characters. So, same thing with, like, you know, uh, music library, for example, like the Duman. So, you can see that. Or like same thing with like open search and open thing. So what we will do is like you know we will use this search box in our application and let's see that like what are the important parts. So I will go back to my project. I will close this one and I will close this one as well. So I will go back to my project and like you know this is the available place. What I will do is I will search for search box in the toolbox so I will drag and drop into my project here it is maybe I can make it a kind of bigger that's it and also I will give the name like the search box uh, as an object name so that's okay so what I will do is like uh, if you remember and if you have a look at to uh, our like the dummy content uh, class so like you know we have our class and we have some methods like the first method was like get all photos and the second method was like get by city like what it does is like it is just uh, getting a parameter like setting a parameter like string like city name whenever you send the city name inside of this uh, method you are just like filtering like all photos like related to like you know that city so what will we do is like you know we will do we will use this one so let me go back go back and after that uh, like you know I will just call this method and like you know use the results of them and then you know try to visualize in my application so let me go here so 
Uh, the good thing is, like you know, we have a method in here called. So let me go down. Like whenever I select this one, so uh, the query change or query submitted. Query submitted is like you know whenever you type something and then press enter. So like you know it is just using the same uh, like you know characters. So in order to see that you know let's try it. Query submitted. I will double click there. So uh, the basically it is just retrieving a. Uh, variable like the arguments from there. So for example, let me check it like var like the query text. Let me give the name like this. So this will be my query text like from the arguments. So so let me try it. So I will build this project and whenever I build it, I will run this app. So for example, oh yeah. So like because due to the screen resolution, I cannot see it. So what I will do is I will go back to my main screen. And at the same time, like, you know, we need to change the screen resolution due to my presentation view. So in order to do that, I need to go to device and I need to go to like this section. Like as you see, I cannot see it. So what can we do is the basic then also we can align like the all elements due to my uh, view as well. So what I can do is like I can like you know, lock to here and lock to the left side and lock to the downside. So like you can see in, in here like you know this is locked, this is unlocked. So what I will do is I will lock this one as well. So here is the search box. So I will I will try to move it to here. Yes, it, here it is. So like, you know, this is just here. Like whenever I search something, like I will get the result. So again, you know, I will lock to here. Like I don't have to lock the left side. So like it will be on the right corner. So that's OK. So uh, let me run this application again. Let me see the differences. Here it is, my search box. So for example, I will search for Istanbul. So whenever I search that thing, you know, I put a like breakpoint to here, like this line. So we need to get a result. So I will press F10. And as you see, like the query tag says Istanbul right now. So because you know we uh, retrieve like we retrieve that query text uh, to our like you know variable and then you know we can use it right now. So what I can do is like if you remember so whenever we load the photo like we just call this one like the call uh, like IK data. So what I will do is I will use the same thing again like you know I can I can photo like the data. And I will do it like here. Then after that, what I will do is like the due to these results, for example, grid view, photos, and item source. Like this result will be my filtered result, right? So in order to do that, I will go to data and like get by city. So let me make it bigger. So I will make it like this and I will put my city name, put my parameter inside of that. So this is my query text. So I will put it in here. So that's it. Then, you know, I will have the filtered result in here. Just, you know, just one easy step. So let me build my solution and let me remove my breakpoint and let me run my application again. So as you see, like, you know, my history is here. For example, I will search for Antalya. Like whenever I search it, like, you know, I can see it in here. So this is a good thing, right? So whenever I click here, I can go to details. So I really like that. I really like that. So what can we do is, uh, like, you know, we can make it a kind of intelligent, like, you know, if there won't be any result, like if, if I will pass by, uh, like, you know, without typing nothing. So I just wanted to get my old view, right? So what will we do is like if query text is not null or not, you know, empty. So there is a function called like string is null or empty. So that will be my 
query text if it is null like you know I just wanted to like you know get a result if not I was I just wanted to get my uh, like in you know, a filtered view so if not uh, I will get all view so all view is here like get all photos I will copy that and pass it in here like you know if you can move this thing to here and then you can remove it from here so this is just more structured so what will we do is like if it is empty like you know it will just get the all results or like if it is not empty like it will just get the results all the results so what will we do is like for example I will search for like Konya for example like it is here if I will remove it and enter like you know I will get all photos like for example if I will look for Izmir like you know I will get it like then you know I will get all photos so the good thing is like you know we can search we can filter it filter all the results inside of that so what kind of features do we have in search box like you know I just want to mention like the most common one for example you are in the application you are just in anywhere else in the application but you just wanted to type it so right now I'm just typing it but you know it is not affected so what I will do is I will go to my search box and also like I mentioned that in this uh, in here so there is a feature called type to search type to search is like you know helping you in the application just focusing on like the search box so there is a feature there's a property called focus on keyboard keyboard input so I will just enable this one so let me make like this yep whenever you just you know the type anything inside of the application it is just focusing inside of your search box so I just enabled it and let me run it and let me go back to application so again like you know here are the like the history for example I will look for Bursa like you know it is here so let me go back like and I'm just clicking on the right side of like images and I'm just typing for Konya for example I'm just getting the old results so it's so easy right so we just you know implemented this feature like the this search feature inside of your application in a very easy way so to think about it like if you have a backend like the web service or uh, like you know anywhere else so you can easily connect like this so what you will do is you will just you know send this parameter like query text and then you know you will just get your results after that so uh, this is nice like you know we are just filtering inside of the application but you know what we have seen in finance application like if you will go back so for example I just look for MSFT then but you know as you mentioned that I'm in a main page but whenever I search it I'm just moving to the another page and I'm just getting a result in a detail view so what I will do is I will integrate in another nice feature of Windows 8.1 development search result page so search result pages you know can be added through like you know your solution right click there like add new item so whenever you go down like you will see that search result page here it is so whenever you go there like you know you will see that like you know you can easily get a result page view like in your application so what I will do is I will call it like search result page maybe photo maybe like we can say it like page city or you know you can just give another name like you know you you are you are free to do that so like you know this is just easy step like you know I just edit a new page which is already built in so what I did is like you know I just got my like the page inside of that so let me close it and reopen it again after building my solution here it is so like you know I have a grid view like it is built in I have a result panel I have like you know tags in here like the page title or something like that like results for 
like the how many results like you know you can you can uh, see that or, or you can just show it what is the result or what, what is what was the query like you know you can show it in here so you know we will just uh, the basically edit these kind of stuff so uh, what I will do is like if you remember like you know we used in here in our application a grid view grid view photos so like one of the easiest way like you know uh, of this app this uh, application development platform like you know you just you can just copy this one copy like you know grid view photos and I will just go back to result page and then you know I don't need this like you know the custom uh, result or built-in result view so I will just remove this one like the result page so I will just pass it to here so whenever I pass it like you know you can see like the other values like I don't want to have them so that's okay I just you know align to fit the page that's it so you know this is the same again like the grid view photos I have the same uh, the method in here as well so uh, what I will do is like you know I will just go for uh, go for a detail so for example let me go back to here so what I will do is like for example you know I just result uh, I just filtered in my application in here right so whenever I get this uh, the query like I will just you know the direct it to my uh, like second page like you know how can I do it so for example you know you can uh, you know that like you know for the navigation like you know we have used like you know uh, navigate like the type of this one so I guess you know you you all use it right so like you know you can go there and you know you you can also just use it as well so let me go back to like this like search result page so and also it is just you know uh, like the suggesting like you know go to like whenever you are on the another page like just use it like you know frame navigate like the type of this one and also like the send to objects so whenever you send to object like you know it is just catching it and then you know after that you know we will have our method inside of here so the basically so what I will do is I will go back to my main page so then after that whenever I get my uh, the query text for example I have frame navigation navigate and then after that you know I have my like the type of source so like you know which is the same thing like this type of for example what is the page of that so like you know you can use the same thing like you know type of uh, like search result page city and then my parameter will be my uh, query text or like you know uh, argue, what, what, what is in here so we can have a look at that so let me go back to city so it is just you know uh, getting this argument like as a string so like you know and also like it is just getting an argument so we can just pass our argument there as well so like you know as a text query text so that's it so let me uh, you know remove this one so whenever I search anything you know I will just navigate to another page and I will get the result so uh, let me go there and let me add a breakpoint so whenever this page is loaded so can I uh, you know the root can I get this result or not get this uh, parameter or not let me run this application let me see for example I search for Konya like whenever I press that one like as you see like I just came to here and you know I just got it so this means I went to the I went to that page with my parameter so what I will do is like you know if you remember I just I just you know commented the line in here so I will just move it to that page or just you know I can move like these all uh, queries like the old things in there so let me do it like this so I can just you know 
move this one. Whenever I get the query, I'm just navigating to that page. Then like all my business logic, all my business things, so I don't need to like the, this one. I can move to here. So like my grid photos is also like in my search result page. Like I can get all photos inside of that. At the same time, I can get like the all filtered results there. So let me go there. Let me run my application. Let me remove this breakpoint. Let me run it. For example, like if I will search for Istanbul, you know, I went to the like you no know, search result page, and then you know I get the results. Then I can go back, and you know I can see the all view. So for example, if I will search for Konya, I can go to here. I can get the details, and then you know I can go back again. So this is so easy, right? Like, is it is it complicated or not? So what do you think about that? Easy to do that, right? Not complicated, yeah. So, uh, for example, you know, there are some like, you know, text places like application name, like, you know, you can search, like, you know, you can change it like application name, like, yep, easy to implement it. So, for example, application name, like, you know, you can change it to, for example, let me reset it. And the text name might be my uh, search page, search page, and then like you know here is the result for for example this is my query text, query text you know this is just a text. So what I can do is whenever I retrieve this query text, this is my uh, oh, let me. Let me go back to here. So this is my text box. Okay. Then you know I can display it in here. Like this is my query text might be here and then you know I can show it there. So like it is all up to you. Like you can just you know display the data there. So uh, there is a question. Like can we search for the data that exist inside of the isolated storage yes like you know if you like you know it is already related with your business logic so like to think about it this is just a, like you know embedded like uh, the dummy content inside of our application and then you know I searched inside of that like if it might be on like the web service or like the JSON data I can connect to the web and I can uh, I can get the result as well so what I, what you will do is like you know we are just using like this query submitted. So like with after this query submitted, like with this query text, whenever you retrieve it, you will just use it for your like the local stored data, local stored file inside of that. Like you will just use this one. Like it doesn't matter uh, where it is or what it is. Like you know, you can use your uh, own code inside of here. Like you know, implementing your uh, implementing your like isolate the storage uh, methods or like the, all the things then you know you can display it there yes we can so uh, I guess you know we pretty covered like the search function like the search uh, like the abilities so what can we do is like you know we can move forward for the other functions as well so so what we can do is, and also like, you know, we have a, like the method called, like the clearing the history, like, you know, we open the application, if you remember, so like this, but you know, here are the results, right? Like here are the history results. So we can also remove that as well. Like, you know, let's remove this, uh, like settings, like this, uh, this history inside of the settings, uh, settings feature. So let's add a layout and then you know add like this kind of uh, dialogue like the search history then you know we can remove it through there so we, what we will do is like you know we will just use this uh, like the line of code so this line of code will help me to like you know uh, clear my database uh, sorry for the clear my application data inside of inside of my the search history so uh, 
this is just another sample so let me go back so let me in here let me go to here like for the share like the share is really one of the cool improvement like the cool uh, like the feature in Windows 8.1 so uh, like as you see in here like you know when you open the share like on, on the right side for on the charms so like you know you can share your like the existing uh, for example the shared places by email for example or at the same time like you know you can share in different application as well so like if you want to have a look at that for example let's go to for example bing.com or uh, for example design.windows.com and also win design.windows.com has been uh, improved as well like you know I would strongly suggest that you're going there and checking it so when you go to this uh, web page on our like the Windows Store like the Internet Explorer like touch Explorer I can say it so like you know on the right side there's a share like you know I can open the share like you know you can see here like the some the features like you know I can post to the Twitter like I can post on Facebook or I can you know send as an email so for example let me try to send it on Twitter so as you see that like you know I just retrieved the title of it uh, like you know the title of this web page after that you know I just got my like the hyperlink so I don't have to go there copy like the title and then copy the link it is just you know doing it automatically same thing with my email as well so whenever I go there like if I click here so I can just you know go to email and then you know as you see it is just adding a one screenshot inside of that and at the same time like you know the application name like website name and also website link is in here so whenever I press it like it is just automatically sending it so this is a cool feature and then you know think about it we can do the same thing in our application as well so what I will do is like you know I will just try to implement this thing so for example there are some applications like Twitter application like if you go there like you know you can easily like use this feature like the sharing these kind of like the tweets or something like that through email like the through like the other channels like you know you can see the list of like the possibilities so like the implementing share like you know we have like several kind of formats formats like you know the plain text like the formatted text or URI or HTML images like the files like you know it is all up to you it's all up to your scenario like to think about it like if you are using it like for example like image modification or like you know image changing so uh, like you know you can change it like this you can share it through your application so what will we do is so let me go back to samples and then let's have a look at that together and then you know we can uh, like you know implement into our existing application so uh, we have two different types of share like you know the share target and share source you know I will mention the differences right now to you so let me go to call series for example search contract for example you know here is the system contracts let me go to demos like here like the sharing the content source application let me go and open that one do I have questions so far You know these are really dynamic uh, the features of Windows 8.1 like especially when you really get familiar using like the, these kind of search functions or like you know the sharing functions you will really love Windows 8.1 more and more because you know you don't have to copy and pass it you don't have to like you know the share the things like that so this is just easy to do that so uh, by the way I'm using Win uh, Visual Studio uh, 2013 RC right now so I haven't updated the RTM yet uh, so I will do it the next uh, like the session so and also like one uh, there is a one little bug in this sample like the sharing the source like an HTML one so I will pass by that so but you know you can uh, like you can check it on your PC then you know you can see that in you know how it works or how can you implement it in your application so right now 
uh, what will we do is like you know when I run this application so here it is like the package title like the data package title data like the package description and also like you know uh, when you wanted to share like you know you can display it and you can share it so and also uh, we have also another shortcut for the share windows plus h so whenever you press that like you know you can easily open share easily or again same thing from the right side like the share then you know you can see that so for example you know I have some possibilities but I will prefer like the male one so like as you see I can get my title automatically and also I can get the content automatically again with a formatted one then what I will do is I will just you know to select a username and then you know press this one and then send it to it so that's it this is just so easy so same thing with the web link so again I can open from the Windows H and also at the same time we have a shortcut as well so programmatically you can call like the share as well so for example after a process you know completed or like there is a button with saying that like would you like to share move to next level move to next step you know these kind of features you can integrate into your app so again you know I will use like my mail account my mail application like you can see that I can easily you know send this link to my you know colleague or to my manager you know it's all up to you so what I will do is I will check the another one as well like you now you can share the application link as well like application logo so like I will just share the default logo of my application I will go to share again and I will go to reading list so it will share inside of that so you will see that like you know, my logo my other details like you know you can see it in here so there are lots of possibilities for example images like you know you can select any image on your computer and then you know you can share it through again like you know the share contract so I will try to like deposit to my email account as you see here is a thumbnail and like the for example here is the my email whenever I send it like it is just saying that my image because it is retrieving from here like the, this data then sending it so like you know we will do the same thing in our application as well like you can share files like you know you can share like lots of things and at the same time you can share the HTML page which will uh, you know I got the bug from here uh, you know you can you can share directly through there so what we will do is like you know this is just sharing in your application in your application to like for example Facebook Twitter like whatever else so the important thing is your application like you know let me show it like this and also you can share screenshot easily on your start screen or in anywhere else in your application like this go to share like the select from here like screenshot then select it and then you know you can easily send your screenshot to any application so the important thing is like you know your application can be you know uh, listed in here as well so this means like you know whenever you get something for example data photo or something like that like you know you can get those information and use it in your application so we call it like the target share so target share means for example Twitter has that feature or my email account has that feature or other applications so whenever I click there like it is just getting the screenshot and then you know uh, I'm just having this dialog and then you know the sending sending this to like another application so we have another application sample called target share sharing application target so let me go there let me open the sample then whenever I run this one so for example you know it's saying that go to Internet Explorer or some somewhere else to share something for example let me go to here like you know this is my uh, website I showed you like I will open share again and then you know I will see that here is my like new application called like the share target C sharp sample so I will just click there 
so but whenever you go there like you know you are just seeing that like it is just retrieving the ID like the title description like the package name or sentence like other thing like this like the logo and like the same thing with the thumbnail like the details like you know it is pretty retrieving lots of data through a website or through an application like it doesn't matter so it is duty is like you know getting this data and displaying it after that think about it like posting to Facebook or like you know posting to your like the own database or posting to your like you know other uh, you know the places like it is all up to your scenario all up to your call so like there is also uh, a possibility like that so like you know you can go to the these samples and you can check the like you know how can you use it so what I will do is I will just use my uh, code snippets for that so uh, what can we do is so for example whenever we go to application detail so we can you know uh, we can share like the some data and also I just wanted to close like that toast notification I just wanted to see in every time so I just commented it so here is the toast notification let me say it like closed <laughs> because I just wanted to see it like in every single time so what I will do is like you know I will just insert some like the code snippets so first of all I just wanted to share just the text just text in my application first of all let me run the application and then let me see how it act and then you know we will see like you know how it is acting so let me go to here like try to share then you know as you see like it is saying that only screenshot can be shared through like you know my application but I just wanted to share something through my application so I will go back because you know we need to integrate some uh, contracts inside of our application so this is my like you know image image handler so I just wanted to have my uh, the sharing tags so I have two methods first of all is like the register for share register for share is like you know helping me to uh, like define my application is like you know has uh, ability to share anything inside of that so let me add this method in my uh, loading time register for share then after that I will continue like uh, like describing step by like line by line so what it does so like here data transfer manager you know helping me to like you know recognizing some data inside of my application and then you know sending to do like this share contract this is just operating system level uh, uh, level method and then you know it is inside of this uh, library application model data transfer so what I will do is I will resolve this one I will add this method inside of that then after that you know I'm just uh, having an event handler called data requested with data requested what I will do is I will just call a method in order to get like retrieve these this data in my application so for example this is happening when you press share then after that when you press your application like you no know, tap your application so this is just calling that uh, this this method after after here so like I will just uh, put my like share text handler share text handler will be here and then as you see like you now share text handler this is a method like the desert it is just you know getting a data transfer manager like the, it is also getting a data request like the request will be as you see like you know my title my you know my description and also like you know you will uh, put a text inside of that so what I will do is like if you remember like whenever the page is loaded so we are just uh, retrieving a like the selected image so selected image is my like you know parameter like I'm using in my applications so what I will do is I will just go for like my title like image image details I will just put the title as my selected photo title then for the description I will go to my selected image and my description 
and after that I will go to like the set text then you know I will change it to my selected image title as well like again like you know I'm using my existing properties like existing selected applic selected object then try to display it in my application so this is that's it you know we registered uh, the sharing function and then after that we use like the this thing and then we are just you know having this handler to like you know uh, to get the data through our application so when we go to a details for example this one like the Antalya so if I will go to share and then you know if you will see that right now Antalya green bottom is here like you know you can see here on the right side on the right top side after share uh, under share then you know if you will go to for example email then after that like you will see that Antalya green bottom like you know the Antalya like the uh, sunset is here like you know as a title and at the same time as a content like you can see it in here then you know uh, you can get more details regarding to like you know this thing like and also you can like you know display another stuff another thing inside of the application and you can you can just share just text like this so what I will do is I just wanted to share my photo like the true through this feature so I don't want to have a text handler but I just wanted to have an image handler share image handler so and also I have a code snippet for that share image handler so again like you know it is just using the data, data transfer and data request event arcs for that so like you know again like the title descriptions are the same but after that like you know we are just storing a data like a store, storage file like you know which is stored inside of here let me resolve it because uh, it is inside of our package like it is inside of our like the application so we need to like resolve it as well application model through there and after that you know I'm just accessing the installed location like the get file async and then I'm just retrieving my like selected image URL and then there is a like you know uh, problem with this like the signs and then you know I just change it to replace it, replace it with this one so same thing with random access stream stream reference I just got it so what we are doing is we are just you know having a thumbnail in order to show inside of the application and then after that we are just having our image file in order to uh, transfer to the like you know uh, target application so this is just a, like the main uh, step like what can you do like you know you can just have a look at that so what what I will do is you know I'm just in here like I'm using my selected image URL like here like I'm just replacing it but I need to put a title and I need to put a description for that so in order to do that I'm just going there like selected image title again like you know for the descriptions I'm just going there let me type a selected image and description like as you see like in every single step I'm using the same uh, the sample application or existing application the same parameter like the same object in order to like to see the differences like to see like you know how can you have a data like uh, in your application in a collection and then you know show it in like in a sync like separated the features of Windows 8.1 so like you know after these sessions you will be able to like you know implement these kind of features by yourself like very easily so here it is so what I will do is I will I just wanted to register this event handler because you know it uh, in the first one at the beginning we just registered the shared text handler so what I will do is I will just share image handler because you now in my application I have image I just want to share that so let me see how it will look like so for example this one like cotton castle but Pamukkale from Turkey I just wanted to share this one by email so as you see like you know again I can see a thumbnail in here I can see the photo title so that's it and also if you want to implement something so check this out
then you know you can just send it directly so you know I just send it to myself so most probably I will get it like in couple of seconds so then after that you know we can have a look at that inside of that so you know this is just so easy steps and you know these are the steps what we got it uh, like the through our application and then you know we can see inside of here so uh, let's continue do you have any questions so far you know I just wanted to try to like you know simplify as it is like as you know as soon as possible but you know uh, you know if you have any question or if you have any like you know concerns please just let me know because you know I'm just trying to like you know really using to like you know the simplest way like more cleanest way to do that yes please join it like you know should I question by question thing uh, no question okay so thanks a lot so uh, last but not least, you know, we will have a look at two settings as well. Like, you know, we talk about the share. The last thing is, you know, we will cover in this session is settings. Like, the settings is basically in all app, nearly all applications. So, uh, like, you know, it is just displaying on the right side, for example, when you go to, like, operating system, for example. Like, you know, you can see from here. So, the good thing is, like, in, in every application, we need to have some settings and we need to change like the, these kind of features inside of there so uh, let's go back to like the samples again oops let me go back to my shortcuts here it is so the last sample is like the application setting sample again I will go to this sample so I just want to run this app and then let me see how it look like so again like you know if you want to open like the sh settings like from the right side like you can swipe and you can like you know, tap the settings or like you know you can move right to the top side and down with your mouse and then click settings or if you wanted to open directly you can use Windows I for that Windows button plus I like this is just a shortcut then you know you will be able to open like the, these features inside of that so first of all you know I will just go for the first scenario like the first scenario there is no integration with the settings whenever I open it like there is a just permission but you know this is just a built-in in every application you can see that so uh, if I will go back like for the second uh, scenario and then if I will put there like you know I can see that like Windows and in here so like you know windows i then I, I can open it whenever i you know click anything then you know i can retrieve the data like you know, what i selected inside of there so again let me try to do that again let me whenever i press help i can see the help in here this means i can retrieve what i did there so the third scenario is just you know the opening uh, settings with a like the settings flyout settings flyout is for example like the defaults whenever you press there like it is just a new page which is appearing on your settings so and also this is easy to integrate into your application then you can put some some settings regarding to your application like open on or off like regarding to your app and then you know you can display it in here so like the last thing not the last like the fourth scenario is just opening it like you know this kind of settings fly out uh, programmatically for example show settings fly out whenever you press that like you know you can open there like to think about it like if you have a login mechanism in your application you can just say login here then you know whenever you they press there you can just open login function to here so this is just one of the like easiest thing I guess like in Marco Fone application in Turkey it is working in like that no it is not working like that so there are some applications uh, working in that way let me check it like MXFT I guess so like you know it is just working in that way like whenever you wanted to log in then you know uh, like you know you can just log in log in like that so it is not there so uh, this is this is one of the way 
So what can we do is like, you know, uh, I just wanted to have a look at the scenario. Let me go back, which was it. So for example, uh, second one is like just adding the text, right? I just wanted to have this one. Like, first of all, I just want to see on the application list. And then I just wanted to like, you know, add some features inside of that. So in order to do that, I will go to scenario two and then uh, on scenario two, like as you see, like you know, uh, you can easily integrate into your application like this when the page is navigated. So like you know, you can just add this method, like the comments requested, like with this comment requested. Also, you can go to here, and then you can add some comments in your application you know as you notice that these are just the comments like you know just the text based so whenever you add this thing like at the text based like you know you can just have a details regarding that but as you see here like this is just like root notify user in order to do that I will just put a text box in my application like to see the status uh, how it works so let me go back to my application. Let me go to my main page. Like if you remember, I have a search box in here. So I will put a text block on the top of here. So by the way, in the in the coming sessions, so we will like you know uh, change the UI of our application. So because you know, this is just a dummy step by step showing it. Then after that, you know you will see that see that how can you reimagine your application. Then you know we will try to like you know modify the user experience there. So let me make it smaller. Like you know this is just my text. So this will be my text notify. Like whenever I you know select something in settings, you know I just wanted to see this uh, text box is text box text is changing. So let me remove this text box text inside of there. This is just an empty text block right now. So what I will do is, like in this, like in the sample. So first of all, I just wanted to, uh, like, to register, like this event handler whenever the page is navigated, and whenever the page is like you know navigated from from this page, I just wanted to like you know remove that one. So I will just copy this, and then I will co go to go back to my page. And you know, this is my main page. So what I will do is I will just go down and then, you know, I just add this one. So, and also like, you know, let me go back and let me add this method as well, like the comment requested. So we need to add some like, you know, uh, references inside of our application, like, you know, the settings pane. Like with the settings pane, I need to resolve that like with adding Windows UI application settings. Like, you know, with this thing, you know, it will recognize it. So I will request some settings feature of the operating system. Then after that, you know, I have my uh, method in here, like event handler, like the on comments requested. So with, with here, like, you know, whenever I add something like the general like the help or something like that, I can see in here. Then, you know, there is a notify uh, message in here. So what I will do is I will use my own text notify for that. So, and also this is just a text. I just wanted to redefine refine like this. Then same thing in here, like I'm just adding this e.request.application commands add like the general command, like it is the same thing like in here. So this means I created a command and then I added in my settings. So this, this is just describing like that. So the second thing is like I just wanted to add a help command like with the help text. So in order to do that again, like, you know, I will just copy this one and I will just remove this one and then to notify text will be my help settings command. And then after that, you know, whenever I created this help command, I'm just adding inside of my e-request.application commands, adding help command. 
So that's it. Let me build my application and let me run it. So whenever I run this, so I will go to settings. So as you see, like the general help and permission, when I click general, like as you see, like, you know, on the top of that, you can see it, like, you know, you selected the general settings command. So as you see, this is so simple, right? So like, you know, think about it. Like if you wanted to change something or if you wanted to open a page or something like that, like, you know, you can use this way, this way as well. For example, if you wanted to like the direct user to account settings or something like that, just use this place. So let me go back. Like if you remember on the third scenario in our application settings. So let me rerun again. So we are adding a settings flyout. So like the defaults, like, you know, we can add something in here. So if you remember, like the, with the search result, I just wanted to clear the history because every time it is just opening it. So what I will do is I will just add the new uh, settings, uh, settings flyout for my application. Let me go to my application and then add this feature. So uh let me go here let me right click and let me add new item and you will see that like the settings fly out like from the settings fly out let me give a name like settings fly out clear so i added inside of my application and if i will go back sorry for that So if I will go back to here, settings fly out. So like, you know, you I will see that like, you know, there is a design like like a template so I can see the detail. So for example, like, you know, uh, let me move right. I can see my logo in here. I can see a default title, like the default, like, you know, other stuff inside of there. So I just wanted to say like clear history. Or we can say like clear search history like then you know I will just say like again like it, instead of Lorem Ipsum clear like the search history I don't want to have this text inside of there so what I will do is I will remove that one and instead of that I will add a button inside of here here it is and then I will say like clear history that's it and then you know I will just go to my click button click and this button click I will add a new method like if you remember like in here so we have a code snippet like in here like the var search manager so let me go there like, you know, what I will type is like the var. Oh, search manager. This will be my new windows. That application model. That search. That core. Then search suggestion manager. And after that, like I will say that like the search manager and call a method called clear history then that's it i will just build it and then you know i will just clear my history you know okay our flyout is ready right now but what we will do is we will we need to call this flyout in my in our application so if you will check the application settings in scenario 3 how they are calling that so as you see here is the like settings command it is just adding a new uh, the command inside of the application then after that it is just uh, displaying like this so this means I need to add the same thing in my application as well first of all let me start with adding a new command in my application so let me go to uh, let me go to my main page and then like you know I have general I have help and at the same time, I just wanted to add a new uh, settings command called uh, clear command. This will be my new settings command. 
and then after that I will say like clear clear history and then after that I will just have handler for that then this handler will open a pop-up in my application so uh, in order to do that I need to like uh, settings fly out clear so I will say that SF anyway let, let's call it like SF and then you know I will just call it like this and then after that SF dot show will help me to like you know open my pop-up in my application so that's it so and then after that I need to add this command in my uh, settings in order to do that, e dot request dot application commands dot add. Then I need to add my clear command. So that's it. I just copied. I just complied it. No uh, error. So let me run my application. So as you see, I can see my like the history. But I just wanted to go to settings, then clear history. Then I will press clear history then whenever I go back like you know everything has been disappeared for example if I type like Konya like you know there is no result like that or if I search it and go back I can see it in here again if I wanted to remove it I will go to clear history and then history has been cleared so this is just so easy like this so uh, like you know today we tried to like you know, cover nearly like the most common uh, system contracts like other than this one like you know there are several uh, the contracts as well like the file picker or contact picker or something like that so like you know today we just show like the search share and also settings which are the most the most important contracts in your applications so like you know you can easily add some like features add some like you know uh, the more details so with this thing and also like you know with these features your application will be differentiated like the thing about it in on other like you know the on other platforms there is no feature like these kind of uh, like the functionality like when you add these kind of things your application will be much more different and much more interactive other in other application so like if you want to have a really quality application please be aware of like the, these features and then you know please be aware of like the, these kind of uh, the functionalities so uh, do you have any questions so far so one hundred and thirty minutes so it has been a long time so but you know I hope like you know I try to cover like pretty much more details uh, in a one session so I hope you liked it so if you have any question like you know here are my like you no know, uh, contacts just send me an email just ask through Twitter just you know uh, for this recorded video just go to my blog uh, just my blog and same thing uh, or our Facebook group if you want to get more details regarding these kind of features these kind of like sessions please go there and join uh, join to our group in in the region so guys thanks a lot for joining if you don't have any question I just wanted to close the recording so if you have any question please just let me know after that thanks a lot and have a nice day thanks